Today we're installing a German kitchen. It's called Boffermat. It's not your traditional kitchen. It's a lot more high end. Uh, comes in thousands of different finishes. Um, anything from metallic to wood finishes to stone finishes. This kitchen has a lot more parts and pieces than a regular kitchen would. Uh, there's 510 positions in this specific kitchen. Uh, anything from cabinets to little parts and pieces that got to get assembled and put together in a certain way to make it work. Also wanted to point out how much tools uh, you actually need to install a kitchen like this. It's not your standard tool set. Here we have all sorts of different bolts and screws, all different dimensions and sizes from millimeters to inches to pretty much anything really because we have all sorts of thicknesses of materials that we use and uh, you don't want to make holes in them so everything has to have a specific size and uh, all the mechanics are different than a regular kitchen. If you look inside one of these cabinets you can see that it's a lot different than a standard drawer. You could actually stand in it and it'll hold your weight when it's installed. They're all soft clothes, just like any, any other kitchen. There's a lot of different components, a lot of different customizations that you could do. Like these, they come out not like your regular lady, Lazy Susan. All these cabinets are gonna be integrated with lights that are integrated inside the cabinet. So we have all the low voltage popped out of the wall right there. And it comes, connects into the cabinet, makes the inside of the cabinet glow and the bottom of the cabinet will shine on the countertop and it'll also light everything up there. These also are not installed in a traditional way where you just screw it to the wall. You actually put these rails onto the wall first. You put them onto these hooks and then you get all these adjustments up, down, left, right, side to side. This right here behind me is a fridge, actually. It's gonna be a paneled fridge. It's gonna have uh, two panels for the, for the refrigerator and for the freezer that are gonna look exactly like these panels. So it's gonna be fully integrated. And all these appliances, this is gonna be an appliance wall where you have your coffee maker, your uh, warming drawers, steam oven, and a speed oven to you know, do all your necessary cooking. So step one is to find out where everything goes. So we have this list of all the positions, starting from 10, going all the way to 500 for this specific kitchen. And it all goes in order uh, from where it starts. Let's say this is number 10, and it's a filler. So we start from there, going up to all the way around. So we find all these cabinets, we put them every, exactly where they are, and then we take apart all these panels and parts and pieces, and we fill them in in between, not to you know lose or not to involve every little specific piece that goes into the kitchen. And then we have all sorts of electronic components for the lighting. So we try to open everything up uh, unpack everything so we see that we have everything that we need we're not missing any parts and pieces we take apart all the doors and put them separately so that they don't get damaged while we're installing the cabinets 